you'll learn about all the gear I take with me on every hunt so I'm prepared in whatever ways I need to be, and you'll see my process from waking up in the morning to getting out the door and hunting. This process will help you to eliminate scent, uh, keep you smelling clean and scent free so the deer don't find you. It will keep you from getting too hot and sweaty while hiking into the woods, and it will help you make sure that you're prepared for any circumstance you need in the field. Okay, so the day starts, obviously you're waking up out of bed, you're tired, you're groggy, maybe you have a cup of coffee, have a little breakfast. I usually skip both of those because I don't want to have to go to the bathroom in the woods. My routine begins with a scent eliminating shower. We're going to get a little sudsy here, but don't worry, the camera is uh, angled away. <laughs> I use Dead Downwind, it's a scent eliminating soap. And that soap, uh, it has no scent to it, and it helps get rid of human odor and pet odor and food odor. Uh, so before you put your hunting clothes on, eliminate the odors, some dead downwind soap. The next step, I put on a pair of underwears, thermal underwears, then a thermal shirt, and then I do a double layer of socks, a really lightweight wicking layer, and then a warmer wool layer. That double layer will help keep your feet dry, and that'll help keep your feet warm on those colder days. One of the keys to staying warm and dry as a hunter, especially in the late season, is doing this double or triple layering. And you want to use smart clothing. So don't put cotton on your body. Uh, use some kind of smart fiber or wool, uh, something that's not going to take heat away if it gets wet. After this, I usually go and brush my teeth. Remember, I go for something that's natural, like mint. Uh, that's a plant that deer might be used to smelling. Or if you can find a scent-free toothpaste, even better. At this point, I have showered, I have brushed my teeth, I've got all my base layer clothing on, I grab all the gear that I need to from uh, wherever it is in my house, and then I head down into the basement. It's good to get dressed for hunting in an area that is as minimally scented, uh, so you wouldn't want to go in a room where maybe a dog or a cat live. Uh, for me, a basement, it's nice and cool. As I put on those heavier layers, I won't start to sweat. And the scents in my basement are minimal too, so it's a good spot to finish getting ready. Now you'll notice I put another warm base layer for my pants, and then I put my final pair of pants, the outer layer, on. I get completely dressed from the waist down. So all my pant layers, and my sock layers, and my boots. That way I can hike out to my tree stand wearing a good pair of pants. I don't have to put pants on in the woods. I don't finish from the waist up. I leave those just a light base layer because I want to keep myself cool as I'm hiking through the woods. I'm exerting a lot of exercise. As I start to climb the tree, I'm still pretty hot. It's not until I get to the top of the tree do I put on the rest of my top layers. And I find those are easier to put on even over a tree harness. I like to use rubber boots. They're easy to clean and keep scent free and they'll contain your own scent. I use mucks and I try to find a pair that are insulated, but not too much so that my feet don't sweat too much in the early season, but they're also not too cold in the later season. Now you're gonna see all the gear I take with me on pretty much every hunt because these are the basic essentials you are usually gonna need most of these on your hunt. I start by making sure I have a little bit of toilet paper with me. Dual purpose, the first use is pretty obvious, but toilet paper also makes a great trail marker uh, if you're trailing a blood trail of a deer, you can put a little piece of toilet paper on the leaves so it's easy to find that trail, and it disintegrates, so it's a great marker that will disappear over a day or two. I use a hunting vest to keep all my gear in. I like this better than a backpack because when I'm standing on my tree stand with my bow in my hand ready to shoot, if I quickly need to grab something, it's right there on my person. I don't have to reach behind me and look through a backpack. So get a nice archery hunting vest. I got mine from Cabela's. I like a nice 8x42 pair of binoculars. Anything above 8x42 is going to be hard to look through and not shake, especially if you're up in a tree or crawling on your hands and knees towards a deer. I usually take a couple different pairs of gloves, a blaze orange pair if I'm dragging a deer out of the woods or if I'm handling a deer decoy or antlers and then some camo and some black pairs. Whether or not I'm in a blind or up in a tree, I'll use the right pair of gloves. 
Speaking of your hands, I always take a pack of hot hands with me. My favorites are the adhesive ones that are made to go on your feet. I stick them to my back right on top of my kidneys. I find that helps warm your whole circulatory system, which helps keep you warm out in those cold winter days. And that's one less piece of clothing you have to lug into the woods. If I'm rifle hunting, I always take a boar snake. I have been out in the field, slipped, fallen, and accidentally wound up with my muzzle in the mud plugged. If you take a boar snake with you, you remove the ammo from your gun, you run a boar snake through, and your gun is ready to go again. If you don't have a boar snake with you, you go home. When I go hunting, I carry my everyday carry kit, which has a lighter and first aid materials. But in addition to that, when I go hunting, I bring a flint and steel, which is an extra way to start fire. I like the rule two is one, one is none when it comes to preparedness. And so I always take two Leatherman multi-tools with me one that I'm counting on using, and a backup should I lose one of those knives. Those aren't the only knives I take. I also take a non-folding knife with me into the woods as well. I always take two flashlights, a handheld and a headlamp. Both are Streamlight flashlights. They're excellent quality, and they light up the night. Of course, I make sure to take my wallet. I leave all my signed permission slips for all my hunting properties in my wallet at all times and my license as well so I can always prove that I'm where I'm supposed to be and legally allowed to be hunting there. I always have a buck grunt tube with me. I've tried all different calls with deer. The buck grunt works more than any other call. It's a little tube of wind checking powder. Uh, you could put baking powder in a sock and use that as the same thing. On those really cold days, I like to have a neck warmer with me. It's a great way to keep more heat in. This is a very lightweight face mask. I bring my rangefinder, whether I'm bow hunting or gun hunting, it's good to know how far you're shooting. I keep a blaze orange hat on me, even if I don't need blaze orange. If I shoot a deer, I want to have some blaze orange on me while I'm dragging that deer out of the woods. Tree harnesses can be a little bit confusing to put on, especially these smaller types like the one I use. So I always put those on in the light of my basement. I don't like to put those on in the dark in the woods. I don't want to get anything wrong with my tree harness. It's too risky. When I'm done, I spray my entire base layer down in a no scent spray. Uh, there's a couple different ones on the market. Dead Down Wind makes a good spray. If I'm going on a hunt to a stand I haven't been to in a while, or if I'm going to do a climber hunt, or even make a brush blind, I like to take a Hoyman extendable saw with me. These saws are excellent. They're really good for clear and shooting lanes when you're hunting on the go. I take a small point and shoot Canon camera with me. Uh, this works for two different things. First, I can check game camera cards. I put the card in the camera and see what pictures are on the game camera. And also I attach this little Joby grippy tripod attach that to a tree limb and I can film my hunt for my little point and shoot camera just for some good memories or taking trophy photos later. If I have a long hike I don't put my next shirt layer on instead I put it around my neck and I tuck it under my tree harnessed shoulders I then leave it dangle it works as a bit of a neck warmer but it's not too hot for the long hike in when I get to the top of the tree, I can easily slip my arms through the sleeves, and now I have another warm layer on. On top of that layer goes my vest for the hike in. I always make sure to have a cell phone on me, and I try to put it in a pocket that's easy to access quickly. And then I carry my jacket, which I use when it gets really cold. Every tree harness has a strap that goes around the tree. I try to keep two of these in my hunting vest. Should I drop one, I'll have a second. I grab my weapon, whether it's my gun or my bow, make sure I have my ammo for it. If it's my bow, I make sure I have my release, and then I am ready to finally go hunting. I know it seems like a lot of gear, but I use almost all that gear on almost every hunt, and throughout the season, I always use all of it. I like to have it in that vest, easy access, easy to use. You don't need to go digging around a backpack when you're up in a tree stand. If I'm going on a very long full day hunt and I need to pack food and water for the full day and anything else, I'll bring a backpack. But for the most part, this vest is ready to go. I leave all that gear in the vest, so if I decide to go hunting at a last moment's notice, I just grab my vest, throw it on, and I'm out the door, ready for a hunt, knowing I have all my essentials. I think I've thought of almost everything over the last few years of 
perfecting this method. But if you find something that I might have forgot, be sure to share it in the comments because I'm sure there's something I might have missed. If you want to know the gear that I'm specifically using, I've included links in the description below. Uh, you can see in the description below the exact gear that I take with me on every hunt. Some of these links are affiliate links. It costs you nothing extra to use those links, but if you buy through those links, we'll get a little something which helps us produce these videos, which hopefully can help you on your next hunt or homesteading adventure. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and we have a lot more hunting videos and homesteading videos and living off the land videos for you to enjoy. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you want to learn a lot more about hunting, we have a great video course over at thisishomestudy.com. It's called the Wild Harvest Whitetail 101 course. We have six lessons. One of them is all about the equipment that you need for hunting. Uh, the other five lessons cover everything from learning to shoot, practicing the right way, uh, scouting, setting up tree stands, to finding your deer and butchering it. It's an entire video course. It's only it's on sale right now for 20 bucks at thisishomestudy.com. Click this link or the link below, and uh, that'll bring you over to the course.